Okay, everybody, we have got five airlines offering us a job. That's right, the world has gone crazy. And in this episode today, we're going to decide who we're going to fly with next. And uh, there's a couple of really good options there. But before I do that, I'll give you a quick update on what I've been doing here in A Pilot's Life Chapter 2. So let's go to my dashboard. Uh, we're a couple of weeks in now to our career. And we've done a few flights. You can see the map right there. Uh, down the bottom there, you can see we're still on $18.18. Pretty low. And I've managed to actually get uh, 12 hours and 45 done. Hopefully you can see that down the bottom right. And eight flights completed. Now, I did manage last week to do a minimum of uh, five hours flights. Um, and that meant that I got that little bonus because that's uh, part of my contract. And so let's just take a quick look in my inbox and if we go to salary income credited, $145.99. Someone told me that uh, piloting was way more lucrative than that, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that's where we're at this stage. The week before, just to remind you, we got 103.19, so quite a bit more. Let's go out and splash out on something blooming expensive. Or maybe we won't. We'll just save up. Anyway, so if we take a look at my logbook, I'll show you what's been going on here. Like I said, I managed to get a few flights. Another four flights completed last week. Uh, the uh, My earlier flights are down the bottom and my latest flights up the top. As you can see, the last two flights, 92. Uh, they caught me out. They caught me out. Uh, and where they caught me out, where I lost all my points, well, most of my points was here on the mix, uh, sorry, max pitch angle. So, uh, and that was really because I completely stuffed up on two occasions the approach and I had to kind of sort of dive bomb into the airport. And apparently that's not very safe. So, I don't know. It seems like an overreaction to me. Anyway, so that's what's been going on. It's been a lot of fun so far. By the way, go and jump on my Discord if you haven't already. Uh, there's a few other guys here playing this too and, it's, uh, and, and we're really enjoying it. It's a good, simple app and a lot of fun. So, anyway, let's get into choosing my new job so we'll go into the job market like i said we've got five options and i threw a post up on um on my youtube page the other day and said who should i fly for and so a few people gave me a few suggestions a few of you abused me and to be honest i completely applaud that so here we go right down here five options and so just quickly review each of them uh salary is there's a bit of difference here actually salary we've got 27 uh, for Air Seychelles, uh, Comia is 24 bucks, but look at this, Czech Airlines, $31, 21 for Nordavia, and Tunisia, twenty one eighty four. So we'll take a quick look in each of these and kind of get a feel for what they are offering us here and what kind of flights they have. So here we go, Air Seychelles, uh, this is us right here, can I open this up a bit more? I can't. Okay, so got the logo there, it's a two-star airline, at the moment I'm in, I think envelopes are one Star Airline. But anyway, they've got a A320N, um, so I wouldn't need to do a different license, but if I wanted to fly the uh, DHC-6s, I would have to purchase another license. And as you can see, they've got quite a wide range of flights here. Uh, they do have a lot of flying over water. I know our chief pilot, John, you'd be absolutely loving that. So it looks kind of good. Not a massive uh, sort of variety of flights here. So not really appealing massively, massively, although as a two-star airline and at $27, definitely uh, one to consider. Let's go into Comia. This uh, airline flies out of South Africa. So these are just five automatic job offers, by the way, uh, which is cool. Um, so I was a little bit surprised to see those, but here we go. Comia, it's a one-star. Uh, we've got our little uh, summary there, but we've got the A20, uh, the A320, A321, A319 also. Uh, then you've got some Boeings. Uh, they've got a big range here. You've got A380 too. You've got the uh, 73, A319, there we go. So the thing with it is for the license that I've got, the A320 license, it covers the A320 family. So that's A318 through to A321. So uh, for much of this fleet here, I wouldn't need to get another license, but there's, uh, you know, in the Boeings, I definitely would. So they've got a lot of different aircraft here. So that's kind of cool. You can see them all up here. A lot of them actually so yeah gives you a good variety and as you can see they fly a lot of places so they say they're based out of South Africa so you can see a lot of their flights down here but they've also got a hub by the looks of it up here in the UK so that's quite interesting isn't it so that's another good option there $24 so yeah that's definitely tempting that one I've got to say I like the variety now here goes Czech Airlines $31.87 uh, now that is nearly twice of what I'm actually getting paid right now. And this is a three-star airline, which I was a little bit surprised to see, to be honest. 
uh, based out of uh, out of the Czech Republic, I assume. Uh, that's uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. They just have the A319, which means I would not need to get another license because I already have that um, that license. And looking at the flights, is uh, a decent, you know, a pretty a, a small range of flights actually, all around that sort of uh, mid range, sort of between 300 and what 600. Uh, nautical miles so yeah just uh, pretty good though but uh, obviously it's a three-star airline and the pay is huge so really tempted with that one uh, let's take a look at nordavia uh, 21 dollars 14 that's just a three dollar increase on what i'm earning right now you see what they've got going on so they're a two-star so that would be an upgrade uh, so they've got the 73 right there seven of those uh, seven sixes and then the a320 21 762 and then the uh, dash eight right there now they've got a ton of different routes right here Heaps all over the place, all over Europe, Western Europe there. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, once again, tempting. Obviously, I would have to get some licenses there if I wanted to fly all of their different aircraft. And looking at the length of their routes, yeah, they've got quite a big, uh, wide range. Right up over 2,000 nautical miles there. So some decent size flights there. But at $21, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, Tunisia, uh, $21.84 is the salary that they're offering here. And so, you know, are they low-balling me? I don't know. Two-star, once again. So that's a bit of an upgrade. And as you can see here, primarily in that A320 group, A320, 20N, 319. They've got the A330, which is good. Uh, ATR72 and the Boeing 73 right there. So once again, we're up in North Africa here. And we've got a ton of different flights here. Looking at the range of these flights, yeah, a big, big range of flights. Good range of aircraft. Definitely tempted there, but... Um, the only problem is, is that at twenty one eighty four, I mean, I feel like I'm getting low pulled there, everybody. So I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I put a post up on the uh, on uh, on my page earlier in this week, and a few of you had a few comments, and uh, the consensus was check air. That's what people were saying, uh, and I think in the post I didn't show what the actual salary was. I only just said what the names of the um, of the job offers were. I'm pretty sure I can't remember. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the money because I'm greedy. And also, the thing I like about it, it's a three-star airline. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, that's a good thing. Springboards me up into bigger and better things. So we'll go ahead and we'll accept that contract right here. And this is where it gives you the options for the, those of you who haven't seen it before. So you've got worry-free. So you've got no targets to meet. You'll just get paid based on the flights. Uh, the other one is you need to meet a target of at least five hours per week. If you complete your target, you'll receive a 10 plus 10% uh, bonus to your salary. If you don't meet your target, you will get uh, minus 10% of your salary. Uh, so that's uh, that's one thing. That's what I've got at the moment, that one. Uh, and then we've got the other one, uh, the, the, the bigger one, which is 10 flights a week. I'm not going to do that. I just don't have the time to do that at this stage. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the five hour one again. Number of hours, target. Let's just double check that. Yep, five hours per week. I think that's doable. We'll go ahead, accept, and sign that contract. I am now a pilot at Czech Airlines. Best of luck. So this is the sign-up process. So that's how it all works. Now, I'll just wait for this to spool up. And here we go. Here goes the uh, contract of employment. Czech Airlines, Kiwi Mace, feeling good. And there it all goes there. So if we go into our schedule... Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and generate a schedule. See, it's got nothing going on here. So I'll quickly do this just so you can see what the story is with this. Uh, I'm going to do short haul. Uh, uh, short and medium haul, maybe, is the go. Um, round trips from hubs. I'll just do random trips is, is what I'm going to do. Uh, and we'll just generate and see what it comes up with. So here we go. We've got 460. Yeah, yeah that's a good... I'm happy with those uh, those length of uh, of flights right there. So... I don't have the A319 in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this is where the flexibility in this app comes into play. I can use the A320, and the program doesn't mind. Um, I like to keep it relatively realistic, and, I, you know, and there's not a big change between the 319 and the 320, so I'm, I'm happy to take that. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. New job offer. We've accepted it, and we're now flying for Czech Airlines. So I'll give you another update soon. Thanks very much for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.